Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Gil Rios. This is another weekly update. Um, last time I spoke to you guys, I was in a studio that um, Double rented out so we could shoot his uh, sneak peek. Um, the sneak peek is done. It's already out. And I like the way it came out. Um, him and his camp like the way it came out. Um, it's available on my website. So I am going to link that at the bottom of the, uh, I'm going to link that at the bottom of the description, blah, 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 and, uh, yeah, so that's out, I'm happy the way, um, I'm happy with the way it came out, um, I can't fucking talk right now, what the fuck is wrong with me, but we, we, we gonna tough this through, we gonna tough it the fuck out, uh, I dropped another video with Try. Uh, it's called One Day. Awesome video. It's really about what's going on today. And things have not really changed. Even though it's 2015 and, you know, things are really still the same. There's still police brutality. Um, there's still, you know, gang violence and all types of just, all types of stupid shit. Racism and, you know, that's pretty much what that video was about. And I like it. I love the way it came out. That's also on my website, um, www.gilrios.me. Uh, that's www.gilrios.me. And uh, you can find that video there. But I'm also going to link it below because I know y'all motherfuckers are lazy. Oh, we got to fucking go to a website and we we gotta type shit and nah I'll, I'll leave it down below cause I know y'all motherfuckers are lazy so I'll do that so those two videos are done uh I shot another video uh her name is Yasmin Soul and she has a song that I really like and we shot the video the same day that I went to the studio to film with Double so once I was done with that, I met up with Yasmin Soul, and uh, we filmed that video. The video's called, the name of the song is called Flash Him a Smile. Um, it's pretty much about the haters just need to stop hating. And, you know, she talks about some personal things in her life in that song. So um, I can tell that it's a really personal song to her. So um, we shot the video. Um, it's, it has a little theme to it. I put, I added a little storyline in there. Um, you guys will see it. I'm going to start editing that video really, 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 really soon. And it's going to be out really, really soon. So stay tuned. All I have to do is edit it. I'm going to start on that soon. Um, I'm just trying to get, you know, my mind right on it and, uh, it'll be out as soon as, you know, as soon as, uh, I can. Uh, I actually doubles mixtape. It's called Hindsight. And uh, I got an early copy of the uh, mixtape. It's not supposed to come out until March 3rd. But I got an early, I got an early release. And because, uh, you know, I'm his, uh, I'm his director. So um, the mixtape is, the mixtape is amazing. I cannot even front. I mean, the production is really well. The track listing is very well done. Um, I, I really can't say enough about it. Uh, I've been listening to it every single day since I downloaded it. Uh, it's, it's a really, really solid, solid album. And uh, I think that he is going to go far with that mixtape. If he pushes it, right and the right people hear it uh i really think that it can be uh something definitely that you guys will hear about um it's it's really well done um the lyrics are amazing uh very talented he's very very talented um i love the mixtape i i can't say enough about it when it comes out march 3rd uh you guys can definitely uh check that out. Uh, I'll leave a link also when it releases, but if you guys want an early copy, comment. 
comment, uh, leave, uh, leave some comments and I'll talk to him and I'll see if uh, he can send you guys a copy before it gets released. Um, all right. So if you guys are really interested, comment below and just say that you want to hear hindsight. Um, it's, it's a really dope album. Um, five minutes into it. Uh, this is really, this, this particular update is really from our hard, hardcore Gil Reels followers. It's not meant for the casual viewer. Um, this is me. This is what I love to talk about. And it's, it's just me. I'm geeking out. I'm talking about my projects and this is what I love to do. I love geeking out, um, talking about editing, talking about the stuff that I've done. So my hardcore followers, shout out to y'all. I definitely appreciate y'all following me throughout the years. And it's really, it, it really means a lot to me. Um, I'm also thinking about starting a podcast. I don't know why I haven't started yet, but I'm, I'm thinking of doing a podcast. But right now I'm doing more of a visual thing. So I like, I like, I like also doing video. So um, that's, that's cool. Um, what else is going on in my life? Um, what else? Oh, I'm shooting a video for my cousin. His name is Joe Dirt. Very, very talented individual. I'm not saying that because he's my cousin. He really is talented. I mean, talent just flows in our family, man. Um, I'm going to shoot his video Sunday. I'm going to shoot his video on Sunday. I heard the track. Unbelievable! It's really dope. We're gonna shoot a video for that. Um, we're gonna re we're gonna keep this one really, really fucking hip hop, break dancing, graffiti, rapping. That's three elements of hip hop right there. We're gonna keep it real, real raw, real core hip hop. So I'm really excited about that video. Um, talented, talented guy, man. Um, so he's going to start his solo career, and I get to shoot his first video off his solo career as he's starting it. Um, he was with a group called uh, BXL, I think the name of it was. I'm really not sure. Don't quote me on it. Um, but he used to be with a group and uh, they had artistic differences. And uh, that's the diplomatic way. Um, he had artistic differences and uh, he felt in his heart that he needed to do what he felt was hip hop to him. So um, everybody respected it and uh, it's cool. So uh, they parted ways and my cousin is starting a mixtape now. So um, I'm happy for him and I support my cousin 100%. So um, I'm, I'll be more than happy to shoot this video for him. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good video. It's gonna be good. The song is good, and uh, I'm confident in the video. Uh, he's the one that came up with the idea for. Um, he wanted as many he wanted as many elements in hip hop as possible. So um, I'm gonna definitely respect his vision. I think it's a good idea, and we're gonna shoot that. Uh, also, um, for the people that wanna become directors. And editors, if you're watching this and you're thinking of doing this full time or, you know, you're thinking of getting into it seriously. If you feel that, if you feel in your heart that you really want to do this as far as directing and editing, I say go for it, man. Uh, one thing, though, that you guys need to understand this is not for the weak. This is not for the weak, As, especially if you have a regular job and you're trying to balance, if you're trying to balance this as far as nine to five and then after, you know, after work, film your projects and going home and editing right after work and then waking up in the morning and going back to nine to five. It's really not for the weak. You really got to love what you do. Uh, you got to be semi-insane, to be honest. Um, I put in a lot of hours editing. Uh, it takes away from everything. It takes away from being with my daughter. It takes away from being with my wife. It takes away from 
being with my friends. It takes away from watching basketball and the people that know me, they know I'm a basketball fanatic. So uh, there's times where I don't watch games for months because I just need to get these projects out and I want them to be as good as possible. And if it takes sacrifices, then those are sacrifices I'm definitely willing to take. So it's definitely not for the weak, but it's worth it if you love if you love it and you want to pursue your career in it. Um, it's 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 a, it's good to do, but it's it's very it's definitely it, it takes. You have to be mentally strong to do it, but uh, if you guys want to do it, it can be done. Uh, another thing I can say about that. Staying on the subject is um, start if if you're if you're just starting out, start a YouTube channel and just start recording projects. Um, do stuff for free. That's what I did. Uh, I started um, I started doing uh, videos for free. I started doing a pro- I, I started doing my own projects. Starting to get my own craft going, starting to, uh, you know, just get the get my skills up. And uh, one person that I started doing videos with, as far as music videos, is uh, my boy Cream Dot. Uh, Cream Dot was doing uh, some music. He started doing a mixtape, and uh, I told him that I wanted to start doing uh, music videos. But I've had projects before, uh, so I've had like my tattoo series was already done and I was already getting thousands of views with that, but I wanted to touch the, the music video aspect of things and uh, Cream Dot was, he was cool. He was cool enough to let me film his stuff and um, Same Old Geek was the first music video I did. Believe it or not, you really can't tell because it's it's the video was really well done. But that was the first music video I did, and uh, he he was cool about it. Um, shout out to Cream Dot if you're watching. What up, big homie? Uh, hope everything's good with you. I haven't heard from you in a minute. Uh, hopefully everything's all right with you. Um, but after that, I just decided to um, keep creating music videos. Keep creating music videos. Um, I did another video with Cream Dot. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, I know the first one was Same Old Geek. And the second video was, uh, oh my God, I can't remember the name. Uh, I can't remember. Hardest and the Flyest. I did Hardest and the Flyest. Um, we did that in the South Bronx. Um, we did it in a room. It was kind of like, uh, a room for like events and stuff. And, uh, so one of his friends was, uh, really cool enough to let us film there and uh we did the whole video in that one room so it was it was dope we had to think of a theme we had to think of everything right there and that and uh, uh and really in like in like uh uh in the same day like 15 minutes in like 15 minutes we we thought of a good storyline and we did that so that was fun to do um that was that was dope I like that video. So check out Hardest and the Flyers. Check out Same Old Geek. Um, I'll, I'll post those in the link below as well. And uh, what else? What else do I want to talk about? Um, I think that's it for this week. Uh, it's 14 minutes. I don't want to talk too long, but like I said, this is just for my hardcore listeners, my hardcore followers that like to watch my stuff. Um, just updating you guys on what I'm doing, what I've been doing. Um... I'm planning to go to Pittsburgh at the end of February. I've never been to Pittsburgh, so uh, I'll definitely be vlogging from Pittsburgh. And uh, you guys get to see uh, M. Smia. And uh, that, that's going to be fun. I know it's going to be fun when I go out there. So, All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Peace.